really busy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to ask that everybody mute, please. And Jay Baba. So just close your eyes and let yourself settle into wherever you're sitting. Let your body be supported. And let's start to breathe into our bellies. And we will keep up this breathing throughout. And as you breathe in, now bring your attention to your heart and your heart center. And this is the place in all of us it's the home of Mayor Baba's infinite love, infinite unconditional love that's always alive in all of us. So see if you can breathe into this wonderful heart place. And as you do, just take note of whatever you might see and feel. And Baba says we all have this infinite pool of healing, soothing love in us. And we can wash ourselves in it again and again. We can never make it dirty in any way. And he says we should make use of this incredible incredible gift inside us. Now let's take one more moment of just sitting with this infinite love in our hearts and heart centers and our whole being. And now I'd like you to pick someone who you would like to share the incredible gift of Mayor Baba's infinite love with. And let your heart be your guide. Just see who appears for you. And could be one person, could be a group, could be family, somebody else. Just let, let your heart guide you.
And now let's get a good image in your mind and your heart of whoever you've chosen. And as you keep breathing into your belly, now pay attention to their heart and heart center. And take note of whatever you might see and feel as you do this. Now let's start to picture Mayor Baba's infinite, unconditional love flowing endlessly into the heart and the heart center of whoever you've chosen. And I see and I feel this wonderful warm, liquid, golden light of love. This filling every bit of their heart and the heart center. And without stop, this love just keeps flowing. And this love has incredible qualities. It's healing and soothing. It's uplifting. It's enlightening. It's forgiving. And it's expansive. And it's always available. And as we picture this incredible infinite love flowing into the heart and heart center of who, whoever you've chosen, we're not trying to change anything ourselves where we're getting out of the way for this incredible love to do whatever it might do. And we never know. We never know what might come from this love. Sometimes really amazing things take place. Quite often, really. And now let's see and feel this love flowing so fully that it's totally filled the heart and heart center in every little corner, in every dimension. And now it's overflowing from the heart and flowing right through as it continues to fill in the heart. And now it's filling every bit of their being. Every bit of body, mind, and soul. As the love continues to flow endlessly into the heart. 
and overflow and flow through. And now let's sit for a few moments with the flow of Baba's love with whoever you've chosen and You never know what might happen. Now let's stay one more moment here. And now let's bid farewell, just for now, to whoever you've chosen. Know that you can return here again and again without end. And let's give thanks for being able to focus on sharing Baba's incredible infinite love. And now let's gently start to bring your attention back to your own heart and heart center. And as you keep breathing into your belly, just kind of settle into your heart. Just let yourself relax into your heart. And again, this is the home of Mir Baba's infinite, unconditional love in all of us. We all carry around this center within us. There's a 24-hour-a-day supply, endless supply of this love. And now let's start to see Baba's love filling our own hearts and heart centers and filling every little corner on every dimension. And again, I see and I feel this wonderful, warm, liquid, golden light of love. And it's generously just filling our hearts. And 
And this love can bring wonders. We never know. And this love is healing and soothing. It's enlightening, inspiring. It's forgiving. And it's expansive. And there's no end, no end to it. We can never use it up. We can never make it dirty in any way. And now let's start to see this love flowing so fully that it's overflowing from our hearts and heart centers. And it's flowing right through all at the same time. It just continues to fill and overflow. And now it's filling every bit of our being every bit of body, mind, and soul as it continues to fill the heart. And again, we never know what wonders this love might bring with it. So let's sit now for a few moments there and just drinking in this love. Let's take one more moment here. And now let's give thanks 
for being able to focus on the flow of this incredible infinite love into our own hearts and beings. And again, know that we can return here without limit. This place is always available to us. And as you keep breathing into your belly, and start to gently bring your awareness back to where you're sitting. And let yourself take a few moments to adjust and come back. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes.
as we gently come back, if anybody would like to share anything, we'd love to hear from you. You know, just uh, just before I came on, we discovered that um, someone had vandalized this living room out in the back of the house, smashed wow. the fences and windows and everything. But I didn't think of that at all during this meditation. I, I, you know, I come out of this and only now do I remember. There's, you know, yeah. several hundred dollars, thousand dollars worth of damage. Oh, gee. You know, but, you know, like I say, I didn't, um, it's irrelevant compared to uh, focusing on Baba. Well, sorry to hear about that and glad to yeah. have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you, Ruthie. Thanks, Jeff. It's good yeah. to be here. I I can't even explain it. You know, I um, was just trying to think about getting dinner ready. And um, I thought, well, it's it's Thursday night. I'll listen to the Shy People's concert. They do that at seven. So I thought, yeah, I'll go in there and support that. And I came here and thought, oh, it isn't Thursday night. I guess yeah. it must be another night. And um, I really needed to be here, of course. I had some uh, tones with my best friend on the phone today. We, it wasn't words. It was just the slightest hint of tones from both of us to each other. And I got off the phone. And of course, I thought, Jeff, about stopping and just creating a space that I could be in and give the tendency towards resentment or anger to Baba. And so I did that and that felt good. And um, I guess I just haven't really thought much more about it through the day, but here I am. And it was just perfect. I just came in as you were um, guiding us to find someone to direct love to their heart center from the beloved so of course you know we all need it for whatever reason it would help any of us i know so i just i already saw the you know beam the grace the wide light of grace coming down before you even said it i don't know if the memory from mm. the old days when i used to stick around after effort and grace but I already saw the white light just heading towards her. So that was really a, yeah, <laughs> really timely thing, Baba. But it, that's great. That's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad your calendar got messed up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. And I miss you, Stuart. It's good to be here tonight. Yeah, glad to Thank have you. you. Yeah. yeah. Th those were good old days, weren't they? I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that seemed like eons ago you know the but those are lovely and then Stu would be there after the effort and grace Absolutely. yeah that was yeah something else can't believe they did that yeah me yeah. either until i hear you right <laughs> said over are you still you're not doing it anymore at nighttime yeah 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 doing it at um uh, uh, 10 at night yeah one day one day a month uh, th usually three days a month and one day on a top of uh, one Sunday on a topic. Yeah. Okay. Well, well I'm going to try to get to, uh, it's, I it's, never stay. Yeah, yeah. It's 10 o'clock at night, which is, yeah. Okay. Bob is there, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, Bob Bob's is there, it. but he's just writing poetry the whole time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> As well, he should be. 
<laughs> what yeah, about Anita? Oh, oh, go ahead. No, it's okay. I, I'm just joking about. I, I wish I were. I, I, I don't write nearly as much as I, I used to. You know, occasionally something will come, and, and uh, but anyway, uh, I. Uh, Today here, I uh, I found that I had some difficulty putting aside all my own distractions and stuff that was going on, and and then of course I had I had difficulty focusing on one person because oh there are so many family members and close friends and including myself that need Bubba's love so deeply. So I I found myself trying to visualize. A whole group of folks that um, that I could uh, that I could uh, that I could maybe let some of this pass on to and and uh, finally finally calms down myself and that these uh, these evenings always always give me that chance just to to settle in to mm -hmm. try to share Baba's love with other folks no matter what the experiences are. Baba is here. That pool of love is always here, and try to try to be there. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, glad you're here, Bob. I just have to say one other thing. I know Anita's ready, but I'm sitting in this glass room, and this is where I always sit. This is where I've sat for every single Baba Zoom. I think most of them, anyway. And this morning, as we were starting RT, I looked up. And there are trees everywhere. And there's a one little clearing where the light's coming through. And sure enough, there's Baba's face. <laughs> there are these branches that are his eyes and this wonderful mustache. I mean, his nose is even defined. It's crazy. And every time I was looking this morning at Artie, he would kind of shift a little bit of his age. Because right now he's like right at that perfect time, I think in the 50s that I loved the most, I think. And then he'd shift to like another another time, another age. So anyway, I just had to tell you. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. just to piggyback on that. I, I, I once said to Kitty, you know, when I working at the center, I said, you know, and you get buried in all sorts of things. And I say, well, I know I've been thinking about Baba when I see his image in a configuration of leaves and lights and shadows yeah. and everything. Oh, no, 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 no. That's but she kind of disappointed me. No, no, that means Baba's thinking of you. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. Yeah. It was, it was. It yeah. made me it made me cry. I mean, I could hardly <laughs> get to Archie without being a blubbering girl. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Baba thinking yeah. of you. Good blubbers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's amazing how that happens. I mean, I I occasionally go to my senior center gym here, and the uh, the cycle that I like to work out on faces a brick wall, and all the bricks have these different sort of splotches of you know they've all been baked, so they're all sort of different. And uh, years ago, I noticed I, I noticed a couple of them together that had Baba's young face, almost like a Jesus face. And I thought, wow, that's really something. So every time I go in there, I look for it. And then a few weeks ago, I thought, ah, it's just my imagination. And I immediately noticed another one that I had never noticed before. <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> from, yeah, the late 50s, early 60s. And I thought, okay, that's, yeah. No, it's not he's, your imagination. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. looking at his Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Anita. Well, I was partially distracted <laughs> by Bruce, yeah. but I did what I could with it. And I think through that, I was kind of like Baba's compassion of being like, well, I'm in everyone and like, I'm, I'm here in the Bruce as well. And like, I'm a child, it, it doesn't matter where your attention goes or how you meditate or how you love, it's all just happening and flowing and you can access it anywhere anytime it doesn't need to be done formally it's through anybody and however way